Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And this video, like, I mean, y'all may be happy and mad at the same time because this is a video on the new ColourPop Ultra, wait a minute, I almost said Ultra Matte, is so not Ultra Matte. Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks. How's that for a name? This is what the collection looks like, guys. And it is pretty impressive, I'ma tell you now. So the reason I said y'all be happy and mad at the same time is because I am gonna bring you guys a collection. I am gonna show you swatches of the liquid lipsticks, but I'm not gonna do lip swatches in this video. I know, I know. I promise though, it is coming. Mini Me and I, we are going to do a separate lip swatch video, but I just wanted to come to you guys with like, I don't want to say a full review, but I kind of want to say a full review because I have been wearing these lipsticks for, well, I wore one and I wore it like the whole day and I just want to, so I guess it is a first impression. Let's just call it a first impression, but it's amazing. It, it makes me want to say full review. But anyway, I just want to come to you guys with a first impression and I want to come to you guys with hand swatches or arm swatches, okay? Because they launch on the 18th of this month. So I wanted to get swatches out to you guys so that you can see the colors so that when they launch, you can already know which ones you want to get, okay? So like, I hope you're happy about that. And as far as the lip swatches, I know y'all, like people are commenting on Instagram. People are sending Snapchat messages. I mean, people are like, even on YouTube, y'all, y'all are telling me that y'all can't wait for lip swatch videos. And I promise it's coming. I have Ofer lip swatch video coming. I have this lip swatch video coming. And I'm also going to do the Milani Amore Matte, the new colors that is coming as well. So you guys stay tuned. All right. So not only does it come with 16 shades of liquid lipsticks, but it also comes with 16 lip liners. Y'all now it's some lippy pencils that already exist, but then it is also new ones as well. But I am not going to go into that because that will make the video like so long you guys. So what I will, Oh, let me tell you what else happened. So I'm not just going to talk about that. I'm also going to show you the new K-pop ColourPop collection, which is ColourPop in collaboration with Karuchi, okay? And I did go to the launch party here in LA. I know she had a launch party somewhere else as well, but I went to the one that was in Hollywood, you guys, and I do have a vlog on it if you have not seen it, but I am gonna give you swatches of this whole collection as well. So I was like, why not give y'all a two for, a two for one special, right? Especially since I'm not giving you lip swatches on today. Now, I'm not really sure how you're gonna be able to purchase this, you guys, but I'm just gonna let you know about this whole collection and how I got it. So not only did it come with that beautiful box and ColourPop, they totally kill packaging every single time. But not only did they give great packaging, but it has a book, y'all. It has a book on every single shade. As if that wasn't enough, it talks about the shade and it tells you which lip liners you should pair it with, right? So it tells you some of the old lippy pencils that are already in their collection and it gives you some options as far as what's in here now. So I thought that was very clever and it gives you the names of all the colors like that's amazing to me they also sent this paper with some verbiage on it and it says let me fix my earrings and it says hey love i wanted to introduce myself i'm color pop's new ultra satin lip not to be confused with my older sister ultra matte lip i am not a lip gloss i'm bold lightweight and super comfortable without that dry matte finish. Where my sister is totally kiss proof, I will definitely kiss and tell. Mm. But don't worry, I still have the long wear you all know and love. I'm available in 16 all new shades. P.S. Also included are seven brand new lippy pencils. Hashtag lips don't lie. With that being said, when I first tried their ultra matte liquid lipstick, especially the lighter colors, the formula was not very forgiving. It was very, very dry. And once you applied it one time, that's all you got. So if you didn't get it right in that first application, like the struggle was gonna be real, okay? And so that's one reason I didn't like the lighter colors because with the lighter colors, I needed it to be super opaque. I didn't want it to be streaky, yada, yada, yada. But ColourPop, with each launch, they are getting better and better. So with that being said, I am highly impressed with this satin liquid lipstick. The only thing which they already said it in the paper that I just read, it is not transfer resistant. It's very comfortable. It does get a little matte, but not in a drying way. I don't even know, man, when I talked to them at the event, I was like, 
I don't even know how y'all did it because I don't even know how to explain the finish of this lipstick. Like it looks matte. Cause even when I swatched it, people were like, why is it matte? I thought it was satin. Like what's up with that? Is it matte? It's not matte, but it has like this soft matte feel to it, but it's not matte because it's very, very comfortable. I told you guys in another video that I recently tried another lipstick. It was a liquid lipstick. And when I put it on, like after a few hours of wear, I had it on my nose and had it on my face and all that kind of stuff. This does not do that. So when they say it's not transfer resistant, I think that they mean when you drink something, it's totally going to be on your cup. If you kiss somebody, it's totally going to be on their lip, but it's not that messy transfer. You get what I'm saying? Like, I hope that makes sense because I really don't even know what better way to describe it. But without further ado, let's get onto the swatches. This color right here is Echo Park. And I hope my elbows aren't ashy because I just got to swatch it. But this is Echo Park. This color is Dopey. So there's Dopey. This color is Magic Wand. And there is Magic Wand. This color is Mess Around. A lot of you guys asked in the vlog what Mini Me or what Asia was wearing on her lips. And it was this color and it was like an ombre. I think she used Pitch Lip Liner or Lippy Sticks or Lippy Pencil. I get like so confused. But this is Mess Around. This is what she used. And there is Mess Around right there. This color is marshmallow. And there you go right there. This color right here is panda. Now I could have inserted a picture, but I wanted to give you guys live swatches. So there is panda right there. And excuse me if I look at the monitor, but I'm trying to make sure I get it right. This color is the rabbit. And there you go. This color is Lion King. And I thought that this was so cute. If you guys saw my unboxing on Snapchat, I thought it was like so cute because it's lion, like L-Y-I-N apostrophe king not like roar lion king okay so i thought that was super cute and there you go this color is man somebody told me how to pronounce it it's like a french way of pronouncing it i think it is first i said petite four but it's totally not that it's like petit four or something like that okay but I'm sure y'all will correct me, okay? So we're just gonna swatch it. But I like this color a lot. Now it kind of reminds me of NYX Stone Fox. I think it's the liquid suede lipstick, but I swatched them together and I posted them on Instagram to show you guys that it is totally not the same. Stone Fox is definitely darker. So there it is right there. The next color is Tulips. But it's not spelled like Tulip, like T-U-L. It's like two, like you two? two lips and there you go right there this next color is frick and frack and there you go i think this one is going to give me a really really nice like neutral nude color this is tansy and there is tansy this color is cozy there is cozy this color right here is bay i love it this is what i wore in the vlog and th and it rhymes with the word london fog this is what i wore in the vlog london fog this is what i wore in the vlog london fog hey <laughs> this is london fog guys i love this color so much there you go there is london fog i love that baby and this color is lost and there you go right there now totally going back to the beginning of this video i told you guys that i only wore one and i wore it one day I totally got to retract that statement because I forgot that I wore prim and I wore it for the whole day. So I love these lippies. I, when I rocked this one, I did not have to reapply at all. And I ate and drank and all of that. Oh, okay. And the color, because I didn't tell you, is prim. But there it is right there, prim. Okay, so we are going to do the whole K-pop situation. Now I'm only gonna swatch the liquid lipsticks and these are matte, these are not satin that I'm about to swatch, okay? This right here is Karuchi and she is the one that did the collaboration with ColourPop. Now, I am not gonna do the lippy pencils, I'm only gonna do the liquid lipsticks. And let me find it. I'm wearing one today, by the way. These are the three in the collection and I'm gonna try to do them in order because there's a method to this madness here. So this one right here is called K. This one right here is called Rooch and that's what I'm rocking today for the second time because I absolutely love this color. And this one is called Chi. Now, Mini Me, when we went to the event, like on the way home, she was like, hey, you know what this means? And I'm like, what? Because why would they name it K and then Rooch and Chi, right? But guess what? Her name is Karuchi, K Ru Chi. Karuchi, what? That's clever right there. This right here is K, but there is Rooch, but there is Chi right there. In the collection, she also has matching lippy pencils and she has an eyeshadow quad. I'm trying to get it where y'all can see it. There you go, it's called K-pop. And I'm gonna tell you which one I'm rocking on my lid because I do have one of these on the lid. And she also came out with a bronze, a blush, and a highlight, which I'm gonna swatch. That's why we saved just some room. So this is the bronzer right here, and this is called Bronze Me Up. 
I haven't even swatched this. Ooh, it's soft. I haven't even swatched this baby. You can't hardly see it. It blends into my skin, but it's right there. This right here is the blush and it is called Flushed. There you go. It really is like a flush of color on me. So that's really pretty. But this isn't a color glow up. I got a feeling. Ooh, I was about to say, I got a feeling. That's gonna be pretty, and it is. I need to wear that soon. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see that glow up? I should have totally put that in my inner corner or somewhere on my face. That's gorgeous. So the eyeshadow quad I have rocked. I rocked it yesterday and I put it all on Snapchat, which it'll probably be gone by the time you see this video. But I really do like the whole set. It's really nice. Now, this one color I thought was gonna be a transition color. It has a little bit of shimmer. So it's kind of not really shimmer, but it's more like a satin. So I chose to put that all over my lid. So I'm gonna go one by one and show you guys what it is. This one right here is in the color Wilshire and that is what I have on my lid here. I'm in love with this color. This may be like my new favorite neutral. Where are we gonna put this? So you see how pretty that is? Like it is a satin finish. Well, what does it say it is? It says super shock shadow. It says it's matte, but to me it doesn't seem matte. It has like that satin finish and it has like a just a tad bit of shimmer in it because I tried to do that in my crease and it gave me like a little bling in my crease. And y'all know, I don't like bling in my crease. So anyway, this right here is Wilshire. And I think like the names of these shadows are really cute because they are streets in Los Angeles or Beverly Hills or Hollywood or whatever. So I thought it was super duper cute. It's like you totally have to be a Cali girl to get it, okay? Then there's another color called Crenshaw, like I told y'all, like that's a street out here. But this is in Crenshaw and this one is pretty too. That is Crenshaw right there. And this is, it says it's a matte finish as well. Now, if you wanted to deepen up your crease or deepen up the outer V or rock a smoky eye, I feel like this is the color to do that with. And this one is in the name Beverly, which like I told y'all, it's another street out here. And this is considered a matte as well. So there is Beverly. Now this last color is a color that I would use as a brow bone highlight, or you can put it in your inner corner to kind of open up your eyes, give them a little pop, or you can even put it like right here in the lash line at the very, very bottom, okay? So this one is in the color Sunset Boulevard and that's where we were at the event. Now this one is a pearlized finish or it has a pearlized finish. It's just, it's just a hint of shimmer doesn't give you too much, right? So it's like, it's not overdoing it. And that's what I like about this whole collection. It's not overdoing it, it's not too much, but you can like work with it. You can get that natural look or you can get that little smoky eye, soft smoky eye look if you want it. But there you go, that is the color Sunset Boulevard. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. Now, if you guys want to see a lip swatch video of all of the Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks, then don't forget to thumbs up. I totally forgot to say that in the last video. Shaking my head. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up, all right? So you guys have an awesome, blessed day, and subscribe if you have not already so that you get notifications when I upload videos, all right? So I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Bye.